plow right there. Right out of the gate, baby. Woo! Red tail, baby! Woo! Woo! Battle star, baby! Oh, right there. Look at that. Stuck that baby, didn't he? Steaming good. Ooh, baby. Going good. All right, guys. Buenos nachos and welcome back to the channel. All right. So one of two goals today is definitely catch a red tail keeper and then We'll see if we can actually throw it on the grill here out on the beach. So I had to walk away really far away from the uh, the car, uh, away from an area that uh, won't get me into any trouble, of course. So uh, basic game plan, grubs, uh, battle star, and then we'll, we'll trek some miles in either direction. Right now, it is the uh, peak of high tide right now. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get them for about three to four hours and then maybe do that catch and cook as I uh, said earlier. All right guys, you know, like I said, I've been eyeballing this little uh, ledge here. Um, I've been out here before, but hopefully there is a, a keeper red tail in this area. I really wanted to bring my uh, trifecta out here, but I guess that wasn't the, uh, the case. I didn't have it tied on, you know, quick enough, but we'll, uh, We'll kind of play the odds, so to speak. Let's see what this aerial sand crab there. A little bit of a uh, southwest wind by the, uh, the by the map here, so got to throw. Actually, next couple of wavering can pay off. So I'm trying to pick my shot. Oop, <laughs> right in front of the wave that time. But this, this flow right now is good. It's a good state to where the, uh, the lure becomes presentable. So that's what, I'm in, that's what I'm initially looking for. Damn it! Damn it! God damn it! See that the slow flow of waves you know god damn it i'm gonna try not to get upset on that one <laughs> i'm gonna fish this area a little bit and then we'll move on. I haven't lost faith in this area. Oh, right there. Look at that. Stuck that baby, didn't he? Wow. That is our catch and cook right there, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Stuck it and he stuck it good. Hell yeah. Woo. Stuck it good. I knew they were in here, baby. Hell yeah. Look at that. Woo! Woo! Got that uh, first one right there, baby. Good size, too. I just had to figure out what they were, uh, what, they, uh, what they wanted there, you know what I mean? So they wanted, you know, a slightly bigger profile, uh, you know swim bait there so we had to switch that up so nice size to uh, start off the morning guys uh, and then uh, maybe this will uh, suit us for the grill guys hell yeah back on the uh, grub here you know like I said there was a lull in the uh, the action with the uh, jerk bait not a problem you know every 10-15 minutes it's going to change. You know, you just got to accept that. 
at uh, you know you got to have your options as far as you know swapping back and forth that's why you know I tie my tie my rig the way that I did so I can have versatility like this dang right out of the gate huh right out of the gate huh I know you're a shorty Woo! red tail baby that is such a beautiful fish red tails are so beautiful you know talking about that versatility guys that you know I'll explain here in a second beautiful little catch and release baby on ya hell yeah come on hell yeah Woo! you're bigger buddy bye uh, you're fine <laughs> so let me uh, explain to you guys what's going on here make sure he's not behind me so I've got my main line my main line is 20 20 pounds here with an Alberto knot and I've got uh, 30 here as a leader here and it's a very short leader the reason for that is so I can switch back you know when uh, I switch over to striper season it's gonna be a little bit longer than that uh, I've got my tack clip but I can switch out with a barrel swivel here and then a little uh, bead the uh, half ounce weight another uh, cross lock if you will and then the uh, the leader so uh, at least I can switch back and forth relatively quick without stopping and retying these are uh, pre-tied leaders that I uh, that I have um, you know in the in the arsenal of course so it's all important all right back on the battle start here like I said I don't want to pass up an opportunity you know to throw a plug and then my this water is gonna go away so I should got my knife out here that's not good oh wow right there right out of the gate baby Woo! red tail baby Battle star, baby! Woo! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's go measure this, baby. And see where we're at with our. Uh... Okay, maybe let's just get them out first. How about that? I'm not gonna get them out that way. That's our keeper uh, red tail there. Tell you what. God, dude. Calm down. Zero. Ten. Y'all can see that. That is my keeper. Right there, hold on. Let's move you. Ten. Tail. Right on the nose. Ten and a half, baby. Woo! <laughs> that is my red tail, babe. Stop! That is my keeper red tail. Y'all haven't had the opportunity to catch these bad boys. I mean, look at these things. Such a beautiful species, I swear. Now, you guys don't know, you guys hit me up. You guys send me a, a DM there that glow chovy baby hell yeah first cast off. i knew it too right because i was kind of calling it i was like look i've got to throw the uh the battle star before my water goes away and sure enough there it is hell yeah Woo! hell yeah
Look at this cool grill that I got from freaking Amazon. <laughs> you know me and Amazon. Jeez. Get that a little bit higher, actually. Right there. I was messing with this thing yesterday and uh, had to decide on, uh, you know, what type of uh, briquettes and uh, that I had to bring. So it's in folds out. It's really, really neat. I got it for like 40 bucks. So it's really, really cool. Opens up like so. Coals go in here. And then, you know, obviously, look at that, 40 bucks. You can't freaking beat that. Awesome. Well, we're gonna use it today, aren't we? <laughs> Before we get started, you know, there was actually an area that was already pitted. I guess somebody had some fires here, but look, they already built a uh, makeshift uh, barrier for me, so that's pretty cool. I'll uh, switch to this angle here, so that'll be my grill there. And, uh, you know, we'll get the briquettes and everything else. I've got water, I've got, you know, pretty much every uh, precaution except for a fire extinguisher, just in case things go south. But that could have been any more perfect, just having a grill already here, so. Hell yeah. I'm gonna snap on torch. <laughs> Get it going, guys. Hell yeah. I'll let that do its thing. You guys seen this a bunch of times, you know, but look how easy it is when they're uh, super fresh, right? So let's get them scaled up real quick. You guys seen this process done a gazillion times, let alone myself in the kitchen. So I'm gonna breeze through this. You guys gotta get this one though. I, I think this is like the best one from the Asian market. This one is uh, $5.99. Hey, <laughs> look at that view. Awesome. Keep it simple with some uh, slab your mama here. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot to uh, let's add a couple of slits, but we're actually going to be doing this in some foil. So we'll go ahead and do that. There's my slits. Have to be nice with the uh, slab your mama just put it on there fish. keep it packed like so and a little bit of breathing room right at the top to keep it packed tight there. We put it on the uh, most hottest part. And just kind of move it around a little bit. And uh, we'll let the heat do its thing, but almost like a reverse sear kind of deal. So, a little sneak peek in there real quick. You can see it's kind of steaming good. Ooh. Baby. Going good. All right, keep it closed. We'll give it a few more. All right, it's been going for a minute now. Let's uh, open it up. See what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is amazing. Wow. Nice and steamed. It's cooking in its own juice back there. Backside out there. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. Y'all can see the uh, final product here. 
and it looks amazing guys wow it's so awesome i don't even know if i, I don't even, why did i even bring utensils you know i'm just gonna pick at it to be honest holy look at that <laughs> man and it came out just look at that just falling apart that's amazing all right, guys, cheers. Thank you each and every one of you guys for uh, supporting what I do and uh, giving me the motivation to really do videos like this and really step up my game this year. All right, guys, if this is my send off, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Until then, buenos nachos as always.